Shant Chris Nation R&D. Well, today we have a little Fiat 600D uh, ring and pinion on our bench. And we're going to be installing the uh, Joel Engineering Limited Slip on this. And we're going to show you how this is done. We're going to start by removing the bolts. Um, we need to release these, kind of even pressure here. And uh, take them off one at a time. We've already loosened them up. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get these off here. Alright, well I've got all the bolts and the locks out, so now we're going to go ahead and pry this thing apart. Pry this up. Make sure this copper thrust washer is in good shape. Looks like it. And now we'll go ahead and get the ring gear off of the carrier. And we'll pull out the uh, pinion shaft and then we'll put the limited slip in. I'll right, loosen this up so we can pull this out. And the pinion shaft is right there. We'll go ahead and push that out. Well, the pinion shaft just slides in and out. That. And uh, that's all we need actually. This thing we're going to do is put the limited slip in. We're using the uh, green springs on this. We have about three different uh, springs that we can use. And we found that for street use, the green springs work really well. Well, before we actually make our installation here, we're going to take this the rest of the way apart and go ahead and clean all these parts. Well, we have things cleaned up, so now we're ready to start the assembly. First off is we take our thrust washer, put it on this, and we'll slip this down inside. Make sure that spins around nice. Okay, then we take half of the uh, slip and put it in here. We need to line this up with our pin that goes through here. We just want to make sure that fits nice and easy. Yes, it does. And now we can take and put our pinning gears in there. It for that. Next thing we want to do is install the springs. And then we install the upper half of the limited slip. Our next pieces to assemble are going to be the upper half. We want to take and put our thrust bearing on here. Slide this in. Like so. Now, to make the assembly go a little bit easier, we have to take some longer bolts and stock and put two of them in so that we can uh, uh, crank it down to the ring gear. Okay, now we'll put our <coughs> differential assembly in. That's what it looks like with the limited slip installed. And uh, I'll go ahead and put it in. Get this lined up with the bolt holes on the ring gear. Start to tighten these down. Alright, now we'll go up the bolts. The limited slip works by uh, compression. The uh, 
brass or bronze pieces that you see there are forced against the drives for the axle. And that's where we get our limited slip action from. Stop there. And now we can go ahead and put the uh, original bolts in. couple of these started and snug down then we can remove these two installation bolts. four bolts. All right, now the bolts are in, we're going to go ahead and torque these down. Okay, now we'll have to do is bend the tabs up. All right, well now that we have the uh, tabs all bent up, I'll show you what the piece looks like here. I see there's what the uh, woman's slip looks like after it's installed. And uh, axle's going here, of course, on either side. And this works really well. Anyway, if you have questions about uh, Joel Engineering limited slips or installation, uh, give me a call here at Coast to Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.